Okay, somebody wanted to know a little bit about my history with the Fredericton Police Force. Uh, the blowhorn. I was arrested, and then I, I remember showing up in court, and I had a supporter beside me. And I said, my God, I never seen so many people in, in court, right? All these people were uh, committing crimes. At the end, it was a judge that came from Cableton. I forgot his name. And my name was right first on the list. And all these people in court, they were all people that were ready to give victim impact assessment. Victim impact assessment on why did my blow horn and my voice drove these people crazy. So that's what happened there. So what happened, we turned around, uh, I was confused because I didn't really understand the court procedure then. So what happened, we turned around, uh, there was an adjournment. So once we showed up the, a month, two months later, I was with my supporters and there was suddenly River Rat Matt Myers, a member of the Fredericton Police Force, shows up and says, hey, so what are you guys doing? What are you guys going to do anyway? So, and now the cops were going around me, hi Charles, hi Charles. There's something that wasn't right. So, I remember Bobby Beauchamp Simmons, cop, very dangerous cop, turns around and she looked at me, very polite, had, had some bobs, hello Charles, hello Charles, very nice in, 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 in the justice building. So the prosecutor sat down with me and my, and, my, and my supporters and said, I'm offering you a deal. This is the deal. Uh, six months probation, three months probation, 20 hours community work, blah, blah, blah. And you know, that's what I offer. So my supporters, I remember, had John Howard Society, Brian Duplessis was there, uh, other people. And then they said, no, it's a good deal, Charles. Turn the page, Charles. I said, really? It took me half an hour to decide. It's a good deal, Charles. So I stood in court. Okay, so sat down. I was surprised. Who shows up? Mary Jane Richard. Judge Mary Jane Richard. Okay? This is where it gets interesting. And then, next thing you know, uh, like, you know, they were said we'll come to an agreement, whatever. And the prosecutor said, we're going to have victim impact assessment. I stood up and I said, no, 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 no. That wasn't part of the deal. You see, all these victim impact assessment, then suddenly, see, there's a little reach a little agreement, but the judge don't have to follow that. And that's the, you know, oh, I can't sleep, that, that voice, I hear that in my head. And I said, no, no, that wasn't part of the, of the deal. Next thing you know, the judge looked and said, I think we're going to have a recess. The judge took off. Who shows up? Cop, Bobby Beauchamp Simmons, or whatever she wants to be called, claims she's bipolar and, and she has a gun, uh, says, said, no, 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 Charles. Nobody's going to testify, Charles. Everything's going to be all right, Charles. I said to myself, what is a cop doing inside the courtroom? Saying, everything's going to be all right, Charles. Nobody's going to testify. So there's something I, that wasn't right. So we had a little recess right quick. So when we came to an agreement, I even laughed. What I needed a blowhorn for, told the judge, 20 hours community work. But there's something that wasn't right that was bugging me and some people were upset with me that I pleaded guilty which a judge told me you never never plead guilty to anything anything you don't plead guilty you ask for a trial but anyway never mind that focus Charles so next thing you know for two three days three days later Bobby Simmons Beauchamp the cop that said everything's gonna be all right Charles led the way inside my place by uh, signing Mary Jane Richard, provincial judge, a warrant, search warrant to search my place. Yes, I, I'm, I'm almost done, Doug. Search my place that I assaulted, uh, defamed a police officer, section criminal code, 
Section 300. And the RCMB, the sexual child exploitation units were over my place. Okay? They put me in jail for four hours. And they were looking for child porn. They went fishing. And what happened? They created a monster. Should police officers be allowed to be in the courtroom and, you know, tell the person with anybody, with mental illness or anybody, doing their dirty work inside the courtroom? And Mary Jane Richard, did she know that what they were going to do? Provincial inquiry? I say yes.